This is G. You're watching all astrology. And we are going to pick up where we left off on the other video that was taking a deep dive into the degrees of the upcoming eclipse. And that is an April eclipse. I will put the links for it below. There's uh, three, three videos in that series. And then this will be the fourth one because we are discovering new territory. We are talking about 30 degrees of Aries, right? 30 degrees, something not talked about. So what we're doing here is we're going to talk about the degrees that are beyond the 30, because when we talk about an eclipse, we pay attention to anything that we may have in our chart that could be two degrees within the eclipse. So if we have a, an eclipse at 30 degrees, we have to find out what would the one degree of Taurus mean? Because that's what would come after 30 degrees of Aries, one degrees of Taurus, and then two degrees of Taurus. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. And here is one degrees of Taurus. The image, a clear mountain stream. The keynote, the pure and uncontaminated and spontaneous manifestation of one's own nature. I'll read that one more time. It's a clear mountain stream, so lock that in on your visual. The pure, uncontaminated, and spontaneous manifestation of one's own nature. Here we see life substance in its original dynamic form and as it emerged from its natural source. This is true whatever the nature of the source may be. In a sense, the mountain stream is conditioned by the nature of the soil and by all the forces which in the past have formed the mountain's rock strata, that is to say, by past history. Yet out of this past, a new, pure, unadulterated release of potentiality has emerged. It is ready to perform whatever work its dharma is to accomplish. And that's dharma with the D, D-H-A-R-M-A. -A. Matter is still imbued with great potential energy energy being matter at its source. It is a flowing irresistibility toward its own destiny. It is simply its own nature. And he has its own nature in all caps. We're talking about something beginning and it's definitely beginning in a material, tangible way. It's stabilizing. The energy is stabilizing and it's taking material form. Okay. Degree number two, Taurus. An electrical storm, the cosmic power able to transform all the implications of natural existence. Again, the electrical storm is the visual, and the keynote is the cosmic power able to transform all the implications of natural existence. At this stage, we see a picture which contrasts with the one for the first stage, the mountain stream. Thus, a celestial display of power versus a clear, lovely sounding little stream. Back of every natural self-expression stands the tremendous power of the soul field. But one of the myriad aspects of the creative word that is the origin of this universe. A celestial display of power versus a clear, lovely sounding little stream. Back of every natural self-expression stands the tremendous power of the soul field, itself but one of the myriad aspects of the creative word that is in the origin of this universe. At certain times, this power compels the natural earth-conditioned personality to accept, perhaps in awe, the spiritual potentialities of its higher celestial destiny. This experience of power can both illumine and shatter. The next symbol reveals its positive possibilities. The subconsciousness may be deeply disturbed by the visitation, but the substance of the individual being can be fecundated. This is a stage of existence in which revelation is implied, at least as a potentiality. The consciousness may be deeply disturbed by the visitation, but the substance of the individual being can be fecundated by the experience. And that was Taurus at two degrees. So from my understanding and the way I read this, there is power and then there is an experience. 
the first degree was talking about a mountain stream, a clear mountain stream. And then the next one is this electrical storm. So when we think electrical storm, it's knowledge, it's information that includes the air, that includes electric. Think of thunderbolts and lightning. And, you know, it almost kind of makes me think of the old Frankenstein movies, you know, using that power of that electricity to bring something into being, right? Right. What did Dr. Frankenstein do? He had this beast that, or, or body parts, really mismatched body parts and brain and, and kind of just stitched everything and made this human life, literally. And then, but to, 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 to inject human life into it, he needs something of immense power. And so he took, he took the only thing that he knew of natural power and injected it into the body, right? And so this kind of made me think of that. Now, it doesn't mean we're talking Frankenstein, but in my mind, it explains, because it's so abstract, right? There's an event, there's information, there's something powerful, but it's something quite natural, something quite natural, a natural force, possibly even a visitation, which is what those words were in there, all right? There was a literal visitation. So for those of you who believe in such things, who have visuals, who have visitations, who have dreams, who have, you know, you literally get visions, whether it's night or day, you get visions. And you may have communications during those visions, right? You may have those moments where you feel like, oh my gosh, this is a message, right? This is some information coming through. But you're also getting it. There, it's like you're getting the full picture. You're getting a visual, a visitation. You're getting information. You're getting some sort of knowledge. You're getting almost like possibly the beginning point of channeling. Channeling from source, channeling from a very, very high place. Because when we think of electricity, when we think of that sort of power, right? Who created that? Who created the mountains, right? Mountain stream, water coming through. Like this is all natural power, right? And it would be from creator, whatever that is or whoever that is for you, okay? Universe, Allah, God, Yahweh, whatever that is for you. So this seems and feels like for some of you out there, this can be a very powerful new beginning a very powerful new beginning to pair up with this new moon, this solar eclipse, this new moon, north node, solar eclipse in Aries. Below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.